planning to run a 10K, and I have a pretty good chance of placing in my age group this time around. I understand that most races use gun time for awards, but if I line up in the corral for my planned time, it would take me some time to get to the start line. In this race, the corrals are on the honor system. So, should I line up with my time, or should I start near the front regardless? Do you have any advice about starting a race when it's so busy with other runners? Catherine. Uh, this is fantastic, and this is really about not just race strategy, but lining up strategy, corral strategy. And I, and I love this stuff because if you are really trying to run a personal best, you have to make sure that everything is planned. Your race strategy, your training before the race, obviously, and even the details of where to line up in the corral. I've heard way too many times from runners, everything goes perfectly in training, they're ready to run their best race, they know their strategy, but they start too far back in the pack and they spend way too much time and energy weaving around other runners and stuck behind walkers or, or people just going too slow. So Catherine, it is very important to line up in the appropriate spot. Uh, and, I, and I would recommend that you line up in the appropriate spot, not, uh, you know, don't start with the people who are going to start the race at five minute pace. If you're going to run eight minute pace, you're going to be that person slowing them down because you're not lined up properly. So what I find to be very helpful is yes, line up where you're supposed to be within the corral system. Um, uh, you know, a lot of big races have uh, corrals that uh, are close to the front. You know, they are the faster paces and then they get progressively slower uh, and what, what's helpful is after you line, after you get in the right corral, move off to the side. There's going to be less people that start the race uh, way off to the side, and, and you're going to be able to, to, to weave around people if necessary uh, if you're off to the side of the road. Uh, now, the other thing is the difference between gun time and chip time. If it takes you, let's say, a minute to get to the starting line from your corral after the gun, your gun time will be a minute slower than your chip time. Now, if this race is any good, they will have a timing mat right at the starting line. And your chip that you're wearing either on your shoe or on your bib number won't be activated until you cross that starting line. So I wouldn't worry about starting too far back in the corral because you're going to lose time before you get to the starting line. You're actually going to be timed perfectly if, if there's chip timing. And, and most races now have chip timing. I, I avoid races that don't have chip timing because then your finish time isn't accurate. Uh, and it's just, you know, it's in, in 2015, guys, if you're not, if, if a race isn't using chip timing, it's not worth your race entry fee. Okay. And so once your chip is activated after you cross the starting line, then you're off to the races, no pun intended. You are, uh, you will be timed accurately and appropriately, and uh, your, your finish time is gonna reflect the accurate time that you've run for that race. Um, so that, that's pretty much it, Catherine. Uh, good luck with your upcoming race, and uh, remember the other principles of good race strategy, which are don't go out way too fast, run the tangents, of course, and not take all those turns too wide because that's not how the course is measured. And of course, don't listen to your Garmin because it will measure the course long, but it's not accurate.